Hi, I can see you through my metal bowl. So here we go. I'm starting off with flour, sugar, cocoa, a lot of cocoa. I use like three cups of cocoa, baking powder, baking soda, and then I'm going to whisk, whisk, the, whisk this all together. If I can speak, that would be wonderful. Oh my gosh. Okay. Again, satisfying. I'm all about the satisfying looks here. I love watching people whisk things, including myself. All right. Now I forgot to record everything, but all the wet ingredients, I put buttermilk, oil, and vanilla. Then I'm mixing it all together. It gets a little bit clumpy, but it's okay. Now I'm going to add my warm water to make this a super moist cake. And you guys, it looks really gross right now because it's not all stirred in. I think it does. It looks a little bit like, a, <laughs> you know what, a little bit like number two. Well, here we go. Now it looks better. It looks like thick brownie batter. Yum. So I just decided to use my blender to make sure I got all the lumps out. And there's still a bubbles and lumps, but it's okay. Here's me doing some swirlies. Now I'm going to butter my pan with my brush and some flour. And I gotta tip this back and forth. Usually I use parchment paper, but I forgot to get some from the store. So old fashioned way it is. Now I'm hitting the pans to get all the bubbles out before I put it in the oven. I'm starting on my buttercream. I put four sticks of butter and one two pound bag of powdered sugar, a couple teaspoons of vanilla, and heavy whipping cream and I was creaming those together. Here's the powdered sugar. You gotta add a little bit by bit and you gotta be on the lowest setting because uh, I didn't do that and it uh, it exploded. Here's the heavy cream. I like to be generous with this so it's more of a whipped frosting. You gotta make sure it's on high for a while. I leave it in there like two minutes to whip. Now I'm taking my food processor and processing some Oreos. I want these pretty big Oreos. I just want them to be nice and big chunks. So I'm mixing in some buttercream and this is going to be my Oreo filling. It's a pretty like 50-50. You want half Oreo, half buttercream. Not more buttercream and not less Oreos. But I had to add a little bit more buttercream to break it up just a bit. So here's my finished product. It was delicious. Now here comes the fun part. After I leveled and simple syrup my cakes, I started stacking. So I put a barrier, then I filled it with Oreo, and I pretty much repeat that a few times. Because here's my stack of cakes, if you see right down in the corner. I repeat this quite often. Gosh, when I got there, they were like, what the heck? There's only eight people at this party. What are you thinking? And I was like, well, I wasn't. So, yep, I wasn't. That's just it. And for some reason, my camera glitched here, so it's really fuzzy. I don't know why. I am still trying to work out all my phone camera and stuff. Now it's not blurry anymore, so this is better. But as I'm going, I'm putting on a crumb coat as I get mm, higher and higher. So I rub some frosting on there, and now I'm beginning my smooth coat. So I'm trying to make this as smooth as I can. Oh my gosh, you guys. I was literally doing, I was literally smoothing for like an hour hour. I'm not even kidding. Smoothed it, put it in the fridge, put some more icing on, smoothed it some more. I was, I, okay, I was having a hard time letting it go. It was never going to be perfectly smoothed, but I tried my best because I, I can't stand a not, a not, not a smooth cake. I really can't. It drives me completely bonkers. So here I am. Th this video is sped up like a lot. So yeah, I was on this cake for a while. Here we go. I just grabbed my smoother and I'm about to start smoothing. Here we go. I got it a little bit wet first because that's what helps it get nice and smooth. I just had to readjust my camera. Here we go. And oh my god, let me tell you guys. I was like, refrigerator, put warm water on it. I smoothed it out some more. It took forever. 
and this is just the basics. Now I'm starting on my drip after I put my chocolate and heavy whipping cream then I put black food coloring in it because Oreos aren't brown even though they are chocolate so I had to make sure it was black else that was going to kill me. So here I am putting down my drips it looks really cool and I got this new squeeze bottle it's probably not that cool to a lot of people because it's not that great of an invention but this makes life easier for me if you've seen my past videos I do not use this and this turned out a lot better I had way more control over it So I'm just patching up a few things, making sure the drips are long enough, and I'm about to get on to the next thing after I take forever doing this. Right now I'm just smoothing out the top with all of my chocolate ganache. I'm telling you, this, this part took forever as well, like, they just, they just take a while. You have to make sure your cake is super cold. Oh my gosh, look at me. I'm like, ugh, like a psycho takes forever because you have to make sure your cakes are cooled and the ganache is not too warm so then I took my food processor I used a ton of Oreos and I did the crumble over the top because I thought it looked kind of bland and I really wanted to make it look delicious with more Oreo crumbles. So I ended up using the entire thing. I put like 10, 15 Oreos in there and I crumbled them up. I wanted slightly big crushes of Oreos so that's what I did. So I am modeling it right now. So... After after I say so 20 more times, Lord help me, I'm just modeling it. Okay, here we are at the party. I wanted to make sure I got this in the video. I lined the bottom with Oreos, and they were the having the roughest time cutting this cake. This video is sped up a ton. We were actually on this for like 10 minutes trying to figure out how to get it done. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Happy birthday, Elena. Bye.